over the past year, what did you say something that you that you say um that you are that you learned about yourself over the past year? What's something that you learned that you didn't know before? I could accomplish anything, honestly. Now that I had so many trials and tribulations, ups and downs, like and so many times I wanted to give up, bro. Even like so with the tattoo shit, I remember, bro, I never forget. I asked uh, the OG nigga, like, bro, like, you ever, like, felt like you wanted to quit? Like, not want to do this shit? He like, hell yeah, plenty of times. He was like, I just kept going. So, when I heard that, I just kept going. Like, I never gave up. Yeah, man, that's what it, you got to keep that vision. Sometimes you, we all have that self-doubt a little bit when you kind of get started and you kind of get around somebody who's kind of already kind of made it and you kind of mm-hmm. see them, they kind of give you a little, little bit of more confidence because that's all what it's all take, take, talk, it's all what it takes, man. It's just a little bit of confidence, man, and kind of keep you going because sometimes, man, we get down on ourselves. You ain't where you want to be. You know you should be further, but you just got to stay down and be patient, man. But I know you, you've been doing your thing with just not necessarily just a tattoo, man. You've been kind of like exploding. I know you hit the runway a couple of times at Trap Art. Yeah. I know we call you Mr. Trap Art because you do yeah, your man. thing. You be doing your thing at the Trap Art. Yeah, so man. Mr. Trap Art. Hey, I'm telling you, don't nobody, I don't even think, I don't think Jesse the Minute got a Trap Art tap, man. I got it tatted on these stamps. Got it tatted. Hey, that's what it is, man. That's what we've been it's rocking. It's part of my was... story. You feel me? Yeah, it was a good man. part of my story. I had a good man, fucking dope. run and a good time up there for sure. Man, that's it was dope, man. It was. I remember when it was just a small community of us, just kind of like the DJ, the artist, the photographer, a couple of designers, and we just kind of like we kind of rocked the gutter and kind of you know gradually you know progressed the gutter. And I forever be you know thankful for being around you guys in the bay because y'all showed me the culture how y'all get down in the bay. I'm from the sip. Yeah, like who this country, who this country dude is, man. You know what I'm saying? They're talking all crazy. He's like, man, I can't even understand what you're saying, man. I'm like, man, I know, bro. It's hard like this sometimes. He's from the south, but yeah, man, you've been doing your thing. So I know you jumped on that runway. You was modeling, doing a little bit of modeling, man. You did it all, man. So after that modeling, after you doing your modeling, what kind of got you into that doing the merch side of it? Because I know you've been going crazy with the merch. My boy, cause I, I like. I, I, I tell the nigga all the time, like, I told him, like, bro, I can't even thank you enough, like, nigga, like, like, he, he put me in a position where I got a chance to really, you feel me, make it up out of here for, for real, for real. My nigga Devlin, he uh got the side collective brand, you feel me, he got his own shoes, clothes, this nigga, he done made everything that you could wear that I could think of, like, socks, drawers, hats, fucking jeans, shirts, every, like, everything you could put on the nigga to make, glasses, watches. Like, I didn't see any uh, fucking duffel bags, backpacks, chest rigs. But when I met this nigga, first, I, it started off on some fan shit. You feel me? Like, I'm a fan of this nigga work. Like, he on some customizing Jordans and, you feel me, breaking them down and putting them back together with different leathers and uh, crocodile and different shit like that. I reached out to him like, bro, like, nigga, you need some tattoos or something? Like, nigga, I'll hey, tattoo you for free. Yeah. You feel me? I told the nigga, I'll touch you for free, bro. I just like, nigga, I'm, I'm in love with the shit you do. Like, like I'm a big fan, you feel me? Nigga, after that, the nigga reached out to me one day. Like, he seen what I was doing with, like, at the time I was painting jackets and shit, too. He let me put my jackets in his store, you feel me? I started going to the nigga house, tatting them. Like, he started, like, he put me in one of his fashion shows. Like, it's just like our connections start getting bigger and bigger. Like, we start fucking with each other, like, tough, like, you feel me? Like, I look at that nigga like a, a cousin now, like an older cousin or something. Yeah, bro, it's it's all about the connections and networking, man, and being able to get with somebody who in the industry who's a little bit further along with you, got the vision already, and kind of get you plugged in with those connects, man, with those different materials and just because I saw, I, like I said, I went through and I saw that you got the shoes going ham, you got the jackets, you got the got the Letterman jackets, you got the hoodies, man. Like I said, man, you I remember when you started off with just these hoodies back in the bro, spot, you know what I'm saying? Bro, bro, you know what bro, I mean? Just started back in the spot with just the hoodie. It said just the progression that you've made over so long. So I came you know, a when long it, way since then, for sure. Yeah, yeah, bro. For it's sure. just like it's just like the it's just like the, the progression that I've seen, you know, just in the people that I rock with kind of go level up. And that's all about, you know, staying down. 